Welcome to the channel, the Free Gorges Dam, China's Free Gorges Dam Explained. Now, I know some of you please say or say to me, please move forward from it, enough is enough. Some people are saying they are interested in the actual Free Gorges Dam. And with that, my answer sort of is, well, when I make a video and you see the Free Gorges Dam, you don't exactly have to watch it, you can just move forward from it. I do lots of other videos on this channel. For example, yesterday I did a ADV adventure called Lost in Cambodia. Do go and check that out. But let's hop into basically the history of the Free Gorges Dam from the very beginning of the concept right up to the present day. Let's do it. Now, please note I'm not an expert with this. This is just a hobby. And with the Free Gorges, it actually, the concept first started or was first created when China became the Republic of China in the 1920s. And basically they found an area of the Yangtze River where they could possibly dam. But the technology, the engineering, China was very young in those days, slowly coming out of the dynasties and into a Republic. It was Mao in the 1970s when he was swimming in the Yangtze River, Fat Mao, Mad Mao, saying we should have this. Now they knew where it was going to be, but again, they didn't really have the money to build this very colossal dam, which in the end cost over 30 billion American dollars, and most of that going through construction. It was in the 1990s, they did have the money, China had opened up, Mao had gone, a new dictator or president or general secretary was in place, and with a 69 or that kind of percentage vote in the Congress of China, the politicians, it went ahead. This was actually the first time when they made a vote to do something in government or in parliament, and it was the lowest percentage. Usually it's like 99% because they are too scared to say no to a policy dictated by the dictator. So construction began round about 1993 stroke 1994. And I was actually very lucky just before, or when it's in the early stages of being started, I did do a Yangtze Crew and did see the Free Gorges, how it was before. And it was very, very beautiful indeed. Now they've flooded so much of the Free Gorges, like 660 kilometers, historical sites, towns, villages, cities have all gone and they are all underwater. It near enough had a unlimited budget with this. And basically what happened with the corruption of the whole thing, the government said, here's the money to one contractor. The mon one contractor said to another one, here's the one and moved it down the line. Each contractor taking a little proportion of the cash. So how much of the actual real money for the free Gordia Dam, we just don't know. But with that little money, they used the poorer cement, which is fact. They used hundreds, thousands of workers. Unfortunately, like in big constructions, people do have accidents and they sort of pass away. They don't live anymore. They pass away due to injury and very low safety controls. Even the Chinese government or the Free Gorges Corporation invited some Canadian engineers to go and visit and inspect. They noticed like the poor steel rebarring or the rebars, the metal strips or the steel strips that meant to support the concrete, saying this was a, of a lower quality. The Free Gorges Corporation laughed at them, moved on, and it's just a completely made Chinese dam without any professional guidance from people who know how to build dams. By then, China had been building lots of dams, but a lot of them had actually failed and some of them collapsed, like the one in Baguio, I do believe, in 1976. Then in 2003, it was opened and it was hailed as a Chinese success this dam, which is 185 meters tall, um, over two kilometers or 2.3 kilometers long and 15 meters wide. But then they came into a problem. 
how are you going to put the turbines in? So this is why the Free Gorges Dam and a lot of dams you have in China or China designs around the world, you would see these colossal, massive red cranes on the top. This is able so they can move things actually into the workplace. There are 32, I do believe, uh, turbines there. Not all of them operate all the time and they meant to produce electricity for 10 million people. They said the dam will last 1,000 years. This got cut down to 200 and now they say 100. Some hydroelectric engineers or hydro dam electric engineers would say this is only going to last 50. Only time will tell. Skeptics, the Free Gorges Dam is still there. The video at the very beginning and the video I'm actually showing you now is of only a couple of days ago. So boots on the ground for that, according to the Free Gorges Corporation. Now, this is a government organization and we take everything from the Chinese government with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt. Transparency is not exactly the best in China. If we move ahead to more recent years, in 2020, the Yangtze did flood and the Free Gorges Dam did open a lot of their sluice cases, whether it was all or their floodgates or the, some of them, we don't know. And there were so many webcams at the time and there was so much news. Did the Free Gorges Dam warp? Yes, it did. And even the Chinese government admitted it did, but they said this is normal for the amount of rain, but it's still standing. Does it have cracks? Yes, it does. There's evidence all around the Free Gorges Dam that it does. Does it flood downstream? Yes, it does. Look at 2020, the city next to the Free Gorges is Yingchang and that flooded. Does the government let the people downstream below? No, no, they don't let them know because they would have to pay compensation if it did flood their land, farmland example. So they can say the hand of God, so to speak, or no, we didn't open the sluice gates at all. So why is it so controversial? Why do so many people make videos about it and claim that it's collapsed or whatever's happening to it? And you could even say, I've been one of them, but I've never, and I repeat, never said it has collapsed. It has the possibility of it. Going through some of the research that I've done over the last three and a bit years related to it. Controversial? Absolutely. You have 660 kilometers of water behind the dam at a depth of sometimes 170, sometimes 60, sometimes 50 meters, whatever, stemming all the way from Chongqing, all the way through there. All this flooded um, gorge, countryside, hillside, mountainside, etc. If the amount of pressure putting on this gravity dam, in other words, there's no bolts and nuts on either side of it, it's just held down by the sheer weight. But if it did, then 400 million people, that's the estimate, 400 million people may lose their lives because of this dam and because of, yes, it's shoddy construction. You would actually say it's quite amazing that the Free Gorges Dam has stood up for at least 20 years now. And will it collapse? Well, every building, one way or the other, will collapse in the future. And possibly that is the only way. There is a huge team constantly, I could say, repairing the dam, botching things up, saying that will do for another day. But if that, that free gorged dam actually collapsed or had a leak or whatever and a big spill, then downstream is the Yangtze Plain. And then we would certainly know about it. It would be major headlines. The Chinese could not hide that fact. So that's why it's so controversial. It's the biggest construction in the world that if it did collapse, could have a catastrophic effect, not just on infrastructure, but millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of lives could be at stake. With this channel, I will occasionally update you on what's happening with the Free Gordia Dam related to the levels, related to any incidents, what's happened, but it's not going to be every day. 
We are coming to the end of the stormy season in 2023 in China, usually between now and the end of September, it comes to an end. And what they would do is try to lower the free gorges dam down to 145 meters, ready for maybe a flood season starting in May in 2024. Why do they do that? Because one, they can check it, one, they can test it. How much electricity does it produce nowadays? They say, experts say 20, 25, 30%. They say since it's been running, it could have run one city for one year in China or all of China for one year, something like that. They're making these guesstimates related to it. But is it efficient? Not really. Does it produce a massive amount of electricity? Not really, not what they expected it to do. There are so many reasons why, but this is the controversy and this is the free gorges dam explained. Thank you so much for your time. God bless to all. Thank you.